Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here again with you, and this time I'm going to go over what we call Euler's method. So let me zoom in here, <clears throat> and um, this is a this is just a more precise method for graphing an approximate solution to a differential equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to build a table um, for Euler's method. You're going to need to make sure that you know the steps. Okay, the steps aren't that hard. You just got to make sure you know each of the steps. Okay, so Let's go ahead and do this example here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this little table. And this little table is helpful to organize your information here and uh, make sure you're doing all the steps correctly. So we're going to start at our starting point of 0, 1 for Euler's method here. Excuse me. Put my other number here. So I'm going to say 0, 1. Okay. Then I'm going to compute dy, dx using this point right here. And so I'm going to plug in x and y into my dy dx, and in this case it's just y, right? So we're going to plug in 1 in there, and we're going to get 1. And then the change in y, delta y, is going to be the slope times delta x. So in this case it's 1 times, what is my delta x? They'll always give you delta x. Delta x here is 0.1, so my change in y is 0.1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from my x, which was my starting point, and I'm going to add my delta x to that. So 0 plus 0.1 is 0.1. That's my change. And then I'm going to add my delta y, which was 0.1, to my y. So I get 1.1. Then I'm going to plug these two into my dy dx and get dy dx here. So that's going to be 1.1 in this case. So now my delta y is going to be 1.1 times my delta x, which was 0.1. And that's going to give me 0.11. So then I go and I do that again. So I'm going to have 0.2 now because I added 0.1 to 0.1. I'm going to have 1.21 because I added my, now what was 0.11, I added it to 1.1 and I got 1.21. Plug that into my dy dx, and I'm going to get 1.21. My delta y in this case now is 1.21 times 0.1, which gives me 0.121. And I'll do it again, except I will leave off right here, my last one, 1.331. So then I'm going to go over to my graph here, and I'm going to go and plot these points for y, x and y okay so zero oops sorry about that zero and one is right here one uh point one and one point one here's point one one point one is right here point two and one point two one is right here and 0.3 and 1.331 is about right here. And I'm going to connect those and look something like that. Okay. And that is Euler's method. All right. So let's go and fill in and solve the differential equation. We'll use that we just did. All right. And we'll use... Uh, We'll use separation of variables here. So 1 over y dy equals dx. And that's going to give me ln of y, absolute value of y, equals x plus c1. So y equals e to the x. I mean, I'll just fast forward here. E, y equals c e to the x. Um, I know my my um, starting point was 0 comma 1, right? So I'm going to plug those in. So I'm going to get 1 equals c e to the 0. And that's going to give me uh, c equals 1. So I'm going to get y equals e to the x as my solution. So if I plugged in 0.1 into here, that's going to give me an approximate value of 1.105. If I plugged in 0.2 in for e for y equals e to the x, it's going to be an approximation of 1.221, 1 
0.3 is going to be giving me approximation of 1.350. Now, how close did I come in my Euler's method approximation? Eh, pretty close, right? So here, we notice that here I got, for 0.3, I got 1.331. And for my actual, after I solved it, I got 1.350. So well, I'm pretty close. So Euler's method is a, prox is, a, is a way to approximate a particular solution of a differential equation. So let's take a look at another one here. Uh, this time we're doing y prime equals x minus y. We're going to start at 0 and 0 0.5, and we're going to let our delta x be 0.2. We're going to do three st steps. They're going to usually say n equals 3, okay? So let's start with 0. Oh, man. And then we're going to go ahead, and uh, y is going to be 0.5. And we're going to plug those into our differential here. All right, so we're going to get 0 minus 0 0.5, which is going to be negative 0.5. And again, delta y is equal to negative 0.5 times delta x, which is going to give me negative 0.1. So then this is now going to be um, delta x is 0.2, so I'm going to add 0.2 to 0, so I'm going to have 0.2. I'm going to take 0.5 and add it to negative 0.1 because that was my delta x. So that's going to give me 0.4. I'm going to plug these two guys in here for x minus y. So uh, 0.2 minus 0.4 is going to be negative 0.2. And then I'm going to do this again. Delta y equals negative 0.2 times 0.2 equals negative, um, I think, oops, we got 0 0.04 this time. Okay, so then now I'm going to get 0.4. Remember how do I get that? I added delta x. I subtract point. Now, well, I'm going to go 0.4 minus 0 0.04 because I got a negative. So I'm going to get 0.36. Plug those into my x minus y for my dy dx. I'm going to get 0 0.04. So I get 0 0.04 times 0.2 which is 0 0.008, 0 0.6, 0 0.368, because I added this plus that, and I got that. Okay, so now I'm going to draw, now I'm going to put my points on my graph here. So I'm going to start with 0 and 0 0.5, which is right here, then 0 0.2 and 0 0.4, which is right here, then 0 0.4 and 0 0.36, which is about right there. And 0 0.6 and 0 0.38, which is about right there. And I'm going to connect those. Get something that looks like that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and sketch this um, particular solution on a slope field. So I've got my slope field here. We're going to go and sketch that. So at 0 and 0.5, we're right here. Now I just drew you the slope field of x minus y. So we're going to follow this guy along here. Remember, they have to, they have to be parallel to the slopes. It looks like it goes like that, right? So now, here's a question. Does this one look like that one? Well, it does, huh? It's pretty close. So as long as it's approximately close, we did a pretty good with our Euler's method for approximating it, right? So do the two graphs coincide? Absolutely, yes. Well, approximately yes, right? Man, I can't even spell approximately approximately, which is what we wanted to do, right? So again, the Euler's method, Euler's method is a method for approximating the solution to a differential equation. And um, you just have to remember the steps, okay? So here are two examples I did with steps for using Euler's method. And in class, if you're in my class, we'll do more of these problems so that you get the hang of doing those steps. And we'll do them day by day so that you can get a hang of that, hang of that okay? All right, there you go, guys. Euler's method for approximating the solution to a differential equation. Catch you next time. Bye.